Hello everyone and welcome to this new video, where we in the most easiest way possible will try to explain the Kurdish cause. This video is aimed for the audience that want to learn the most basic foundations regarding the Kurds. As the video series goes on, the videos will be more detailed and we will go more deeply into specific subjects and topics. Before we start, don't forget to follow us on Instagram where we publish updates, vlogs and interesting fact-based posts about Kurds and Kurdistan. Also click the subscribe button on this channel, make sure that you don't miss any further videos on this channel. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. So, what is Kurdistan? On the screen right now, you see a map of Kurdistan. Kurdistan is located in the Middle East and the land of Kurdistan is approximately a little larger than France, which would make Kurdistan about the 40th largest country in the world. Kurdistan is a multi-ethnic, multi-religious and multilingual area, which means that Kurdistan is full of different languages, ethnicities and religions. However, the majority of the people in Kurdistan are called Kurds and speaks Kurdish. Kurdistan does not officially exist as an independent state. Instead, it is occupied by other countries, which means that other countries have taken over the land of the Kurds by force. These countries are Turkey, Iran, Iraq and Syria, and these four countries has a history of oppression and mass genocides against the Kurdish people. Since Kurdistan have been split among four, every part of Kurdistan basically has their own struggle. However, all parts have the common ID to achieve an independent Greater Kurdistan. To make it easy to navigate the Kurdish cause, Kurdistan is split among four region names. The Turkish occupied part, which is the largest part of Kurdistan, is known as Bakur, which in Kurdish means north. The Iranian occupied Kurdistan, the second largest one, is known as Rojhala, which means east in Kurdish. The third largest part is occupied by Iraq and is known as Bashur, which in Kurdish means south. And the last and smallest part is occupied by Syria, known as Rojava, west in Kurdish. Before the modern national states was formed, the area that today is Kurdistan have been part of several empires, dynasties and kingdoms. Before the states occupying Kurdistan were created, Kurdistan was part of the Ottoman Empire which fell after the First World War in 1918. As the empire fell, Kurds were promised an independent country in the first peace treaty known as the Treaty of Severus in 1920. However, resistance from the Turks in command of Kemal Atatürk forced the Western powers to reshape the treaty and in 1923 the Treaty of Lausanne were signed where the Kurdish homeland was forgotten. The occupying states was given the green light to occupy and slaughter the Kurds. In the upcoming years, the Kurds in different parts of Kurdistan have created organizations, revolutions and uprisings to achieve their long-awaited goal of an independent Kurdistan. However, almost 100 years later, they haven't managed to do so. At the same time, the Kurds are closer than ever, having their own autonomous region in Bashur and another one in Rojava. The religious ideological and tribe-based split among Kurds is probably the main reason that Kurdistan doesn't exist as an independent country. Kurdistan has, throughout the years, been prioritizing clans, parties, religions and ideologies before the common cause of an independent state. This is what Kurdistan is, and if you want a part 2, don't forget to hit the like button, comment your opinion down below and subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you don't miss any further videos on this channel.